Thank you for investing in the Welch Allen Video Path Endoscopy System. This videotape has been provided to assist you in properly caring for and maintaining your Welch Allen Video Path endoscopes. Following these instructions will ensure that the instruments are effectively cleaned and disinfected for optimal performance and patient protection. For best results, it is important that these processes be performed as described. Further details regarding these procedures can be found in the Instrument Operating Manual. We start the process by turning off the suction pump and the light source. Leave the endoscope plugged into the light source and the suction tubing attached. Wipe off the insertion tube with enzymatic cleaner and gauze to remove any debris. Semi-automated cleaning process, enzymatic cleaner. Now we will perform the semi-automated cleaning process, which is an exclusive procedure we have developed to facilitate cleaning of all the sophisticated internal channels of the video path endoscope. It saves time and effort and will be repeated several times throughout the reprocessing procedure with various solutions to ensure thorough cleaning and rinsing of all channels. The first semi-automated cleaning process will be performed using enzymatic cleaner. Select a solution from the list of approved cleaners which can be found in the Video Path User's Manual. Prepare the solution as indicated by the manufacturer. Remove the water bottle from the light source. Locate the cleaning bottle and fill it to the line with enzymatic cleaning solution. Dry any excess fluid from the exterior of the bottle and insert it into the light source. Remove the valve plungers and the biopsy seal from the scope and place them in a small container of enzymatic cleaner. Replace the plungers with the corresponding color-coded valve reprocessing caps. Attach the distal reprocessing cap. Fill a 60 cc syringe with enzymatic cleaning solution and attach it to the biopsy port. Turn on the suction pump and then power up the light source and the air pump. Run for several minutes until no enzymatic solution remains in the syringe or the cleaning bottle. Remember to empty the suction pump collection bottle as required throughout the procedure to prevent it from overflowing. When completed, turn off the light source and the suction pump. Disconnect the suction pump tubing from the suction port. Then, remove the distal reprocessing cap and the syringe. Remove the valve reprocessing caps. so that we can mechanically clean the channels. Mechanically cleaning the channels. Now we'll mechanically clean the air, water, and suction channels to remove any remaining debris. All necessary brushes have been included with your video path endoscope. Refer to the instrument operating manual for specific details and descriptions of each of these accessories. First, insert the channel cleaning brush into the suction valve well, directing it towards the opening in the side of the wall which is farthest away from the deflection knobs. Advance the brush until it exits the suction port on the endoscope connection terminal. Clean away any debris from the brush with a soft, lint-free gauze pad moistened with enzymatic cleaner and repeat the process until debris no longer appears on the brush. Next, insert the channel cleaning brush into the open suction valve well and direct it towards the bottom of the channel. Feed the brush through the opening until resistance is felt at approximately 15 centimeters. 
Do not use excessive force. Withdraw the brush and clean away any debris using a gauze pad moistened with enzymatic cleaner and repeat the process until debris no longer appears on the brush. Insert the channel cleaning brush into the biopsy port and advance it until it exits from the distal tip of the instrument. Remove debris from the brush with a gauze pad and withdraw it from the channel. Repeat until no debris appears on the brush. Insert the suction valve well cleaning brush into the suction valve well. Remove the brush, wipe off any debris, and repeat if necessary. Using the air water nozzle cleaning brush, gently clean the nozzles at the distal tip of the instrument. The mechanical cleaning process is now complete. Leakage testing. We'll now perform the two-stage leak test procedure. It is imperative that this test be performed after each procedure to evaluate the integrity of the endoscope prior to immersion into any liquid. A leakage tester has been included with the system for your convenience so that you can regularly perform the tests and detect any leaks. If leak testing is not performed as indicated and there is an undetected leak, the internal components of the endoscope could be seriously damaged. Leak testing, stage one. The first step in this process is to perform a pressure decay test to evaluate endoscope integrity. Remove the cleaning bottle and scope from the light source. After making sure that the leakage tester and the ETO vent on the endoscope connector terminal are dry, attach the leakage tester to the ETO vent. They should be screwed together until snug to ensure a watertight seal. Make sure that the pressure release valve on the back of the gauge is closed by turning it fully counterclockwise. Pressurize the inside of the instrument by pumping the hand bulb until the indicator needle is within the test zone. Be careful not to overpressurize or the scope may be damaged. Observe the gauge indicator needle. It should remain in the test zone for at least one minute. If it does not remain in the test zone, the scope has a leak. Contact the Welch Allen Service Department immediately before any further processing so that proper steps can be taken to prevent any damage to the endoscope. Leakage testing, stage two. This step, known as the immersion test, will detect leaks that may not have been detected in the previous procedure. It should only be performed if no leaks were detected during the stage one leakage test. Attach the soaking cap to the endoscope connector terminal to seal off the electrical contacts. Make sure the leakage tester is securely attached to the ETO vent port and that the gauge indicator needle is still in the test zone. Immerse the entire instrument with all valves and biopsy seals removed into the enzymatic cleaner. Immerse only a small part of the leakage tester tubing. Never immerse the entire leakage tester. Carefully observe the instrument for bubbles while deflecting the distal tip in all four directions. Observe for at least one minute. A few bubbles may initially rise from the biopsy channel or recessed areas of the scope. This is normal. If bubbles continue to rise from the same location, a leak is indicated. If there is a leak, remove the scope immediately from the basin and contact the Welch Allen Service Department before any further processing so that proper steps can be taken to prevent any damage to the endoscope. If the endoscope has successfully passed the leakage test, the exterior surfaces can now be cleaned. We hope you found this review helpful. Proper maintenance of your video path endoscopes and accessories is important and will keep them in service for years to come. If you require any additional information, please consult your VideoPath Endoscope Operating Manual or contact your local Welch Allen representative. Thank you for your interest in Welch Allen products.